Welcome to the Poverty Chronicles. Uh, my name is Tammy Thompson. I am the creator of the Poverty Chronicles and also the owner of Thompson Real Estate Consulting. Uh, again, thank you for joining us. So I'm going to just jump right in. In our last video, we talked about how food has become one of the biggest budget busters all across this country. So not just folks who are struggling financially, but everybody. Everybody is spending more money on food than they have to. So one of the things I wanted to talk about tonight was how we can reduce our food costs. In the last video, we talked about how if you work outside of the home, more than likely you are purchasing lunches, right? You're buying lunch because you haven't taken the time to pack a lunch, which takes planning, right? I'm gonna just be honest. I forget to do it sometimes, or sometimes I get so busy that I haven't planned accordingly. And I can guarantee you on the weeks that I have not properly planned my meals, I spend way more money than I ever intended to on food. So, you know, I'm just gonna show you some things. So here, here's some things that you're gonna need, right? You're gonna need some containers. You're going to need containers because in order to plan properly, it's going to require you to cook more food than you would normally cook on the day that you have time to cook. So, for instance, if Sunday is the day that you set aside and say, this is the, the one day of the week that I will always cook a home-cooked meal, then what you do is plan to cook more than you need for that one day. So if you're gonna have roast chicken or whatever your main course is gonna be, make sure that you're cooking more than one, right? So that you can have leftovers because leftovers can be used all week long to pack a lunch. Now, packing a lunch, so this makes sense to you, right? This should make sense to everybody. And even for those of us who don't cook, if you don't cook, you can still do this. There's so many convenience foods in the grocery stores these days. Even though I'm not a fan of convenience food, sometimes I break down, right? Main convenience food that is awesome for packing and repacking lunches. Rotisserie chickens. If you like rotisserie chickens, you can get one or two rotisserie chickens and turn them into several meals throughout the week. You can turn them into uh, a salad, right you can have chicken salad you can have uh, chicken and noodles you can have chicken and rice you can have whatever you like if you're a fan of chicken chicken is a very cheap way to extend a meal but chicken rotisserie chickens if you don't cook are a great way to prepare for the week so think about that right pastas pastas are great because they reheat well so if you make spaghetti, we all know spaghetti is generally better when you eat it the next few days. It's always better than it was the first day you make it. Chili, anything with beans. And again, these are not just uh, meals that are cheap to make, but they're also full of protein, so they're good for you. So start doing some research. Think of what meals freeze well, which meals pack well. All right, and plan from there. Now, let's think about something that I have failed to think about on occasion. If you're going to be somewhere where you don't have somewhere you can heat up your food, what don't you pack? You won't pack something that requires heating. I've done this. I've been good. I planned. I made my, you know, my meals. I had them all packed in the refrigerator, grab one, throw it in my bag, and then get where I'm going and realize there's no microwave. Ugh, so now what do I have to do? I have to order something or starve. And I don't like to starve, so more than likely I order something. So plan ahead. This is why planning is so important. And planning is going to be a theme for us moving forward. Because not just about food, but anybody who is trying to save, anyone who has a financial goal that they're trying to meet, planning is always going to be a part of reaching that goal. So I hope tonight... This tip 
was good for you. If you want some other suggestions, if you guys have some tips that you can give me, please put them in the comments. I want to hear from you. If you think this sucks, tell me it sucks. Tell me you already knew this. But what I'm going to tell you is that the majority of people that I'm working with, this is where they're falling apart. This is where the budgets are falling apart. So although we might know this information, we have to find out what is it going to take for us to actually follow through and make this stuff happen because think about it ten dollars a day on average if you work five to six days a week that's fifty to sixty dollars a week two hundred to two hundred and forty dollars a month just on lunches and think about what you can do with an extra 200 and 260 dollars a month so i hope you enjoy this episode of the poverty chronicles i will see you next time Holler at me in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed, if you have some suggestions or topics, and I will talk to you the next time. Have a great evening. Bye.